Hey guys, Jason Smooth here with some MLE 13 to show franchise mode with a different team, a new team this time. And it'll be, well, if you can read titles you would already know, so I'm not going to leave you in suspense. This is a San Diego Padres, and I think that this team right here um, is kind of on the edge of, of being a winning team. It's like, I feel like it's almost there. So I'm going to be there to push it over the edge. I'm going to make some moves here, and I'm going to get some new players on on this team, get some new players on on the on, onto the roster, and we're going to get some wins into the W column. Um, but I'm not going to make too many acquisitions or trades or signings or whatever. I'm I'm just going to keep it kind of. I don't know how to explain it, but it's like it's going to be you know. Kind of built around the uh, the original Padres, but first I need to look at the original Padres, so I know I who I have to work with, and so I know you know who I can get rid of. Now, the very first guy I want to get rid of is Carlos Quentin, and I just I just don't like Carlos Quentin. There he is, right there. Just don't like him. Um, ever since he did that thing to whoever's name was, I don't even remember his name to the Dodger, uh, to the Dodger pitcher. I think it was his name. Um, regardless of his name, I just don't like him. But I do like uh, Cameron Mabin. Uh, he's got an A potential, and I can't wait to see him in his prime. See what he's going to be able to do um, in this game and in real life too. You know. But uh, flipping through these rosters is. It's kind of like it's not really a fun thing to do, but it's I guess it could be interesting. Um, is because you you find all these these players and you know it's like okay, like look at that name, like what? But uh, we have Houston Streets, that's good. Um, he's a good closer, and hopefully we'll be winning a lot of games, and he'll be able to participate in the action with a save or two. Um, but as we continue to flip through, we see Yasmani Grandel. 84 overall, 8 potential, and I can't wait to have this guy in his prime as well. I mean, come on, man. Like, 90 overalls everywhere. That sounds like fun. Like, having, like, a legit 90 overall team. Not more like, just trading and force trading and, you know, but, like, actually, that just sounds so much fun. But at the same time, it sounds like it takes patience, patience too, and just, like, that's what simulating for. But uh, as we continue to look through here, for, through first baseman, Yonder Alonso, another A potential. And, uh, you know, I can't wait for this guy to get to where he's going to be um, in the future as well. Logan Forsythe's one of those guys I'm looking to get rid of eventually. Um, if we got those D overalls and the, and the A overalls. There's like two totally different situations. Um, not nearly as many D's and A's as there are B's and C's. Which, you know, that's just kind of where you'd expect most of your prospects to be. Which is fine. I mean, you know, not everybody's going to be a 90 overall. But uh, what we need to do is make sure the A potentials be or become an A, but A overall or 90 and above. Hopefully we'll be able to develop all the players and find a good place for Carlos Quentin because we want him out of here and Kyle Blanks because I just I don't know I've got plans for this team and I'm going to execute them just kidding I really don't have much plans uh, basically what I what I the only plans I had was to just find whatever good deal you can and uh, take advantage of it um, I really don't care if it's, if it's like a lopsided deal or whatever I'll take whatever I can get now, I don't think that there would be something extremely lopsided that the other team would accept. So I think we'll be fine. But uh, no game played in this episode as we're just continuing to flip, continue to flip through these rosters, which is never fun. It's just interesting seeing all the prospects and seeing who we have to work with. Um, but like I said, no game play. Hopefully I'll have another video up today or the day that this is uploaded. Um, and that'll have gameplay in it, and, um, I'll have one trade and one free agent signing in this video, 
just once we continue, because I'm making a list. Not not really. I'm like a mental. It's like a actual list um, of people who I'm totally fine with trading away if I have to. Um, some of these guys, you know, I'd be like, okay, if I need to make the deal work and I have to put this guy in there, I will. But, you know, I might want to keep this guy. I have those type of guys I'm willing to trade. And then there's guys that I want to trade, like Carlos Quentin. Like, just get out of here. Um, I sound like I really, really, really hate him. I just don't like him. And I think I can put somebody else out there who's much better. But now that we looked at everything, let's look at this trade here. It's a uh, deal with the Dodgers. And look at this deal. I like this deal a lot. We're getting rid of Carlos Quentin and sending him to the Dodgers, which is kind of ironic. Um, and we're also getting rid of a, uh, who is that? I can't tell now. Oh, it's gone. Whatever. I'm sure you guys all saw. And we're going to go ahead and sign Scott Pesednik here. And he's going to want a commitment here, so we're going to give him two years and about 900000 But that's all for this video. So please like, comment, and subscribe, and check out my other videos. And there'll be more of these in the future, don't worry. And I will be simulating. I won't play every single game, so this way I can keep up with my Astros franchise. So, see you later. Peace. I'm out.